Let's listen to an excerpt from Schubert's Winter Rises, Song 8, entitled Rückblick, which means looking back. First thing we'll notice is this key signature is two flats. Taking a quick glance at the first several measures, we see G in the bass, so we suspect G minor. That's all well and good until we reach measures 8 and 9 and see a troublesome E natural. Not only that, but as we look at the bass in measure 7 and the downbeats of measure 11 and 13, we see cadences to a D minor triad. Hmm. But now we see in measure 4 that we have a leading tone F sharp in the melody and also in the bass going to a G minor on the downbeat of measure 5. Although it's in first inversion, it feels and looks like G minor until that last C sharp in measure 5 cadencing to D minor. Hmm. Well, we might not be convinced about D minor up to measure 9, but 10 and 11 are certainly D minor. Hold that thought. Now in measure 14, we get our E flat, and measure 16 brings us to the D, G minor that we started out with. Let's go back to measure 5 and see if we can sort out the key center. At the very end, we have a C sharp, a leading tone to D minor. That settles it, right? Well, there's that leading tone F sharp showing up again to make us think of G minor. What to do? We know that Schubert loves to play around with barred scales without really leaving home. Could this be one of those cases? What if it really was in G with a minor scale except for that E natural? A G minor scale with a raised sixth degree. Well, that's G Dorian mode. Is it possible? Are those D's in measure 6 and 7 just dominance to G Dorian? Well, this is a good way to start a music theory argument. Let's listen to the melody from the pickup to measure 4 going to measure 6. And instead of stopping at the D, we'll resolve it to a G and see if it works. To my ear, it does work. However, you'd be perfectly within your rights to point out the 5-7 to D minor in measure 5 and say temporary modulation. Still, the idea of Schubert playing around with a mode other than major or minor is an interesting one. He was one of the big fountainheads for all of Romanticism, and modal harmony figures prominently by the mid-1800s. One thing is certain, this piece illustrates just how far removed Schubert is from Mozart in just 30 years. A whole new world, as Disney might say. Thanks for watching and listening.